Okay, now you can see here, I'm showing about one-tenth of an inch water column drop across the, the filter. And I'm going to show you where it's hooked up. Take a look at this again. Now you can see one of the taps right there, and that's down at the outlet of the filter. The other one, it is right there beside the manometer. So it's one tenth of an inch water column drop, which is yeah, it's pretty close to what you should expect. Some sources say it should be 20% of the maximum. This is a uh, five or 0.5 inch water column furnace. That's a maximum external static pressure can have. And we're using up one tenth of it right here, and that's about 20%. So, uh, by the way, when I'm doing these filter things, it's all new filters. I'm not doing this with the used filters in it or anything like that. And of course, this has got an electronic air cleaner in it, so we're testing it clean. Okay, we're going to try a El Cheapo filter and I'll show you what it looks like. This filter, how thin it is, this fiberglass filter. Uh, let's see what kind of pressure drop this thing has. Okay, here we're set up with the El Cheapo filter and we're reading it's all the same setup we're reading four one hundredths of an inch water call. So uh, that's less resistance than the electronic air cleaner had. And, but of course it's a really crummy filter. So let's try a pleated one. Okay, here we got one of the standard pleated type filters. Nothing special, fairly cheap. We're going to try it. Okay, now what we're showing is about 0.22 inches water column. Remember, I've only got 0.5 inches water column available for the fan. And I'm sucking out over two tenths of that with that pleated filter. Okay, uh, I didn't buy any of the real high end filters because I'm too cheap, but my guess is if I start getting around HEPA type filters, I'm going to have buku pressure drop. This is going to mean this pressure drop is too high. It's way too high. You can't run this thing that way. It's, your air conditioning coils will probably freeze up in the summertime. Uh, and then it's going to get dirty. This is how it starts out brand new clean. This thing is going to get dirty and it's really going to drop. So, eh, you know, for my money, there's many good ones. <laughs> I actually still like the electronic because it doesn't it does it doesn't depend on uh, particle size. It picks them up big and small. Uh, a lot of guys don't like electronics, but yeah, I don't know. This this is kind of your choice is you can put the cheapo one in there and get very little pressure drop. You put one that's reasonably good in there and you got a lot of pressure drop and you may have trouble. I'm not even talking about things like you know, these allergy filters and stuff. Those things are incredibly bad. They will pull all your air out. So, anyway, that's what I found on these filters. Uh, 